G'day guys, welcome back. Finally got my pet myself a pair of sunnies. UAG viewers will know what I'm talking about. So, uh, it's been a long time coming. Um, so, no adventure today. The weather in Nelson's been pretty terrible the last few weeks. It's been pretty much raining non-stop. Uh, today is the first little break I've had in the weather. So, unfortunately can't get out for an adventure. But I'm going to use this time to prepare for an adventure. And I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown of, of what we're going to do. So. What we're doing here is I'm just going to give you guys a quick uh, sort of how-to on rigging up a kayak for fishing, inshore fishing. Just a basic setup um, and it's on a tight budget so you don't have to go and spend a thousand dollars in a nice flash kayak. So first off, get yourself a kayak. I picked this one up for a hundred bucks online. Um, winter time is the best time to pick them up because a lot of people don't have a value for a kayak during winter especially here in New Zealand, so um, you can pick them up pretty cheap second hand. As I said, this one was a hundred bucks. So we're gonna spend probably another hundred bucks and get it all rigged up for fishing. All okay, right, first things first, we're gonna give it a good clean because this thing's filthy. It's been sitting under a fruit tree and it's got rotten fruit and mold all over it. So um, bear with me, I'm just gonna give it a quick scrub and see if I can get all this black shit off it. give it a water blast after this but um, we've got the majority of the gun off it anyway so I've got a good base to start with so we're going to get into the fun part so pretty easy to do anyway all you need is basic tools drill some drill bits a knife and a screwdriver okay first things first um, I noticed when I was picking this up it's pretty hard to carry by yourself this string um, it's pretty sore on the old fingers so to counter that we're just going to slide over some um, old fuel line from the old boat we're just going to slide it over these and it'll be a bit more comfortable in the fingers now you can use garden hose probably pvc pipe pretty much anything for this whatever you got lying around as i said this is a budget build and i'm trying not to spend too much money um, and i think this will be pretty effective good thing about this fuel hose is it's quite rigid so once it's on there it's going to be pretty hard for that to come off um, so I do that on both sides and then I can carry it by myself, drag it down the beach. So all I've done is uh, made a slit down the middle and you're just popping it over this rope. Sweet. So the most important thing in a kayak is your seat. And they're about 50 bucks. I haven't actually gone and bought one for this, I've just pinched it off my old kayak, but I will buy another one for this. Look online, but I'm pretty sure they're around 50, 60 bucks. So pretty cheap and very important. To rig this up, you're going to need some eyelets. I just went down to Burns Co, bought a pack of these, 10 bucks. You get, I don't know, 10 or so. 10 pack, 10 bucks, so a dollar each, pretty cheap. Um, luckily, it's already got eyelets on the back to clip on, um, but you just want to work out where your next eyelet's going to be, and then make a mark. You want it to be quite tight, quite firm, and you can always adjust it afterwards. Okay, so next up is to get your drill bit. You guys probably know how to do this. You just drill in some holes, not that hard. All right, once that's done, secure them in with the drill. You don't want to go too tight and strip your thread. So drill most of the way and finish it off by hand with a screwdriver. Once you've done that, give it a test. Oh yeah, she's comfy. I'm happy with that. Right, uh, next thing we're gonna do is 
I'm not sure. What's the next thing we're going to do? Next thing you want to do is work out where you want your rod holders. Um, you kind of want to do your seat first so you know where the rod holders are going to sit in relation. You want to be able to get to them, grab them, wherever they are. <clears throat> okay, next step is uh, go and buy some of these. These are off the shelf from Burns Co. You can get them online, Marine Deals, anywhere. Um, and these are called Railblazer ports. You guys might be familiar with these, um, but pretty much all it is is a an attachable rod holder that you can move anywhere. You can get all sorts of components um, that fit the star port. So you just screw these in and you clip these in or clip them off, move them around, switch kayaks, whatever. So for this, all I had to do was go and buy these star ports because I already had these off my old kayak and my old boat. Um, and I can just swap them around as I need them. But let's say you've got to go and buy it all. You can pick these up for about 30 bucks ish, I think, for a kit. So two of those equals $60. And they're well worth it. I use them on my boat, kayak, everything. They're the best rod holders you can get. So all you've got to do is screw these in. Now, in this situation, I'm going to use a hole saw and, and cut out a hole for this so it can sit in there. If this was a thousand dollar kayak, I probably wouldn't be doing that. I'd be using this spacer. Uh, it means you don't have to drill out any holes, you just screw it in. But um, if I cut out the hole, it's got a bit more to hold it in, a bit stronger. And to be honest, this is only a hundred dollar kayak, so I'm not really too fussed. If you're not confident doing that, you can use the spacer that it comes with and you just screw it in like, like so. So now what I want to do is sit in the seat and figure out where I want these. I do want them behind me. So, because I don't want anything obstructing the front of the kayak when I'm fishing, paddling, whatever. So, all of this stuff I want behind the seat. So, I'm just going to sit in and figure out where I want these. So, once you've drilled your hole, you're ready to put your screws in. Okay, that's one rod holder done. I'm going to go ahead and do the second one now. Sweet, that's the rod holders done. Now here we have about five dollars of shock cord, bungee, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's about four meters so so we're just going to rig up some strapping here maybe some up the front and one on the side to hold the paddle while you're fishing and so you just run that through these luckily i already had these on this kayak but as i said i bought that pack of violets before for 10 bucks and you get 10 and that would be enough to rig up a kayak so and um if you don't know knots tie lots Okay, that's the front rigging done. Um, now we're going to do the back. So for this one, I was going to use these eyelets here, but there's not much space. So I'm just going to put in some new eyelets somewhere so I can run bungee across the back. And then come across like so. So I'm just going to rig up a couple more eyelets. Okay, that's our fishing kayak, ready to go. So all of that costs less than $250, depending on what you needed to buy. Easily $250, you probably get away with $200, and that's including buying the kayak. Um, so pretty good, it works well, obviously it has its limitations, um, and yeah, you get what you pay for, so keep that in mind. Um, I'm not saying this is better than a fishing kayak. This is a budget kayak for inshore fishing that you can use if you want to. Um, so anyway, yeah, hope you like this video. It's a bit different to the usual. No adventure yet. I will use this kayak next time I head out and um, just show you what it can do, I guess. So fingers crossed for the weather, 
play the waiting game and um, do some jobs around the house, I guess. But. So anyway, that's all for today. Remember, if you are heading out in your car, wear a life jacket. Take two forms of communication, waterproof communication.